Which actor do you despise so much that you won't watch a movie with them in it? Andy Dick. Never liked him. Super annoying and he's not a good human being. It used to be Kevin Bacon after seeing The River Wild. He played such a good piece of shit I couldn't watch a film with him for 10 or so years without hating him. If you're reading this sorry Kevin you are a master of your craft. Steven Seagal. Talks shit, can't act. I cannot watch anything with Jennifer Lopez in it. Even before reading about how she treats people, I could never find her sympathetic, even in light-hearted comedies. She gives off threatening bully energy and that just evaporates anything funny or relatable. I legitimately thought I didn't have any actors who I hate this much. Even horrible ones who got in trouble or cancelled have made good works in the past. They were terrible, but their work can be good. And doesn't, usually, diminish the work of their co-stars. So I legitimately thought I wouldn't deny any movie solely off of one actor being involved. But then I remembered Steven Seagal exists. Ezra Miller James I'm a massive cunt Corden Elizabeth Moss It's almost like the Church of Scientology is stronger than nepotism. It's even more ironic that she's in Handmaiden's Tale. Jared Leto the only exception is American Psycho when Patrick hacks him to death. John Wilkes Booth Gwyneth Paltrow My wife really dislikes Common. The story she tells is years before she and I started dating she was in a foot locker buying shoes and Common was in town for a movie or something. He tried to use his influence and entourage to get his shoes before her and she had to tell him off in a way. He still wasn't happy about it, but let her go first. Poor guy lost a single viewer of all his future movies that day. Lena Dunham The only Ask Reddit post I've ever seen that won't have Danny DeVito as an answer. Steven Seagal Garbage acting Jared Leto Jennifer Lopez any actor who is part of Scientology. Does that raging bell end James fucking Corden really count as an actor? Woody Allen. Ezra Miller. Tom Cruise, Will Smith, Jared Leto. Anyone who dabbles in cults. Will established a Scientology school for children but then denies any association. Also, he is an enabler to a malignant narcissist. Gwyneth Paltrow. She can't act and she's a con artist with her goop products. Tom Cruise. Gives me the creeps and always has, even without the Scientology thing. He gives me psychopathic vibes. James Corden. Terence Howard. Just never felt he was all that talented. Will Smith now. Previously watched everything he ever did. Steven Seagal based on a very bad personal experience. Mark Wahlberg Big Douche Energy As much as I hate to say it, but Will Smith and everyone else in the Smith family. He should have slapped divorce papers in Jada's face the moment that August thing got into the public instead. Not to mention whatever's going on with his kids. Too much corny stuff for me to handle from the same household. Will Smith, and I want to qualify that I've felt this way since long before the slap. Will Smith Rich Man Baby. James Franco Scumbag. Didn't love their movies to begin with. Anyone mentioned Steven Seagal yet? S. Woody Allen. Lena Dunham. James Corden. Half the people I know are trying to get me to watch Gavin and Stacy, watch the first episode, turned it off the second he came on screen. Any Kardashians? Mark Wahlberg. Dude can't act for shit, but talks like he is the real deal. Edit thank you kind stranger for my first ever award. Tom Cruise can't stand him. And the fact his tooth is centered in his mouth freaks me out. Edit. Ha ha some great replies. The most comments and upvotes on Reddit ever, 
and just because I hate Tom Cruise and his stupid face. Edit again just got my first silver award. I'm blown away. This is a special day. Thank you you Isaac coincidence. Sorry I messed up your name. Woody Allen Tom Cruise except for interview with a vampire. I don't think anyone could have played a better pompous as then Tom Cruise. Jesse Eisenberg Don't like his face. Gwyneth Paltrow up. Wow, people really don't like Tom Cruise. LOL. Dane Cook. Unfunny annoying twat. Tom Cruise Tropic Thunder is the one exception. I don't dislike George Clooney but I fucking hated him as Batman. Mark Wahlberg has been convicted of hate crimes. Always didn't like him, but the more I hear about his crimes the more I wonder why he hasn't been cancelled. Amy Schumer Kevin Hart Woody Allen Kevin Spacey I used to like his movies. Now I can't watch them because of him. Vince Vaughn He's the same loud mouth, fast talking, know it all bullshitter in every movie. We all know someone like Vince Vaughn, and they're usually the one who drinks too much and ruins everyone's night. Woody Allen. He is so annoying. Just whining all the time and he's a pedo. Steven Seagal and John Travolta. Woody Allen. Scott Bio, the Hercules Dude, Kevin Spacey, Army Hammer, Tom Cruise, Wellesley Snipes, Sylvester Stallone, James Woods. James Franco Tom Cruise Tom Cruise Complicit cult supporter I don't separate artists from the art when it comes to this kind of shit. Can't do it. Slave labor camps, human torture, and human trafficking? Fuck Scientology. Racist, sexist, anti-Semite Mel Gibson Most Tom Cruise and now The Rock. Corden. James Franco. Ben Affleck, seems like a jock douchbag, punchable face. Tom Cruise. I hate him with my entire being. I hate all his Scientology nonsense. And I especially hate that he corrupted John Travolta with it because, in my mind anyway, Travolta is weak-minded and should be shielded. Tom Cruise. Cult leader POS. Woody Allen, you know why. Alec Baldwin. Carrot Top. Tom Cruise. He not a bad actor. He's just perpetuating the existence of an abusive cult and I can't divorce that from his face. Jesse Eisenberg twists my piss, even though I can acknowledge his talent. Pete Davidson. I don't understand the hype about this dude at all lol. Man isn't funny in any sense of the word, and the dude looks like the little brother from the Wild Thornberries. Donny? Tom Cruise Gwyneth Paltrow Woody Allen 